Hey guys, in this video, not only will you discover how to do air brake and U-turns, you will also be discovering some important tips to do it perfectly. It may look difficult to do at first, but don't worry as I'll be breaking it down step by step for you so that it's easier to follow. Trust me, at the end of the video, you will be able to dominate Nitro Oxide's time trial and even start getting consistent first places in online matches. Now, without further ado, let's move on to the video. So, I'll be touching on air brakes first. So, what is an air brake? Basically, doing an air brake will allow you to turn very tightly while you are in the air without losing speed. So here's the difference of using an air brake and without using an air brake. In order to do an air brake, there are three buttons you need to press while you're in the air. On the PlayStation, these buttons are the square button, the down arrow key button, and the left or right button key depending on the direction that you want to turn to. And if you are on the Nintendo Switch, then the button layout is exactly the same. So here is an example of using the air brake in Hot Air Skyway shortcut. Obviously you will want to jump first, and after that, hold the square button, hold the down arrow key, and hold the left arrow key to turn left. Now on to the next most important techniques that you need to know, which is the U-turn. But before we move on into that, I just want to say that if you like the video, do consider supporting my small channel by clicking on the subscribe button below because not only will you be getting more amazing videos just like this one, but you'll also be helping my small channel to grow as well. Now let's move on to what are U-turns, why is it one of the most important skills in the game and how does it give you an unfair advantage. So, what are U-turns? Basically, a U-turn allows you to turn extremely tight corners while you're on the ground instead of in the air. Sometimes this method is also known as sharp U-turns or sharp turning, but I'll just name it as U-turn to simplify it. This technique is extremely important as it will allow you to win time trials and especially online multiplayer races. Now you will get a significant advantage than those players that doesn't know how to do air brakes and U-turns. Here's a clip of me using the U-turn technique or sharp turning technique in maps with tight corners. As you can see, I can cut through corners much quicker than normal. This method, including the air brake, is the reason why that some players are able to win in first places online while they are 30 seconds or even 1 minute ahead of the rest. But don't worry, this method is much easier than you think. Now, let's move on to how to perform a U-turn. To perform a U-turn, all you need to do is to spam the jump button while holding the exact same button as an air brake, which is square, down arrow key, and left or right arrow key depending on where you want to turn. I prefer pressing the R1 as it is much easier this way because your left hand is already occupied with the direction keys. Again, on the Nintendo Switch, it's the same thing. Now, if you notice already, I did not mention to use the analog stick for both of these techniques. You can definitely use them if you prefer it, but it is much harder to execute it as you will need to push your left analog stick to the perfect sweet spot, which does not always happen. Here's a step-by-step -step example of the same clip of me using this technique. Before starting, always jump first by pressing the R1 key and start spamming it. Immediately after that, hold the square button, down arrow key and simultate between left and right depending on where you want to go, all at the same time. And there you go, you are now a master at air braking and U-turns. Now here are some important things you need to know while doing this technique. First of all, remember to let go of the square button, which is the brake button, before you land. Holding it while on the ground will slow you down tremendously and you may lose your speed or your blue fire. Secondly, you will not lose blue fire while doing an air brake in the air. Just remember to let go of the square button after you've landed. Oh, by the way, if you don't know what a blue fire is and you want me to make a video about drift boosting and blue fire, let me know in the comment section below, I'll be more than happy to do so. And third of all, it is recommended that you start getting used to the arrow key as your primary function in turning. 
Analog sticks are great but they are not very consistent if you want to do these techniques and remember consistent is key. And that's it, I hope that you've gained something from this and if you did, remember to subscribe and leave a comment saying hi, I would love to reply each and every one of you out there. That's it for now and I will see you in the next video.